welcome to the city of water and lights 1.14 world in the snapshots it's been a long time i know i'm sorry but i have been busy in a new survival world serengard so i haven't really done a lot in this world but i do have a bit of progress from last time so last episode i was doing those custom uh, spruce or pine trees uh, that you can see in the background and since then um, again I should check the video for the last things that I've um, been uh, the last things that I've shown you but I don't think oh no I don't I haven't shown you this I've redirected the path it did just go a straight path straight down there which is boring um, so I've put in a few little custom trees, whoops, yeah, forgetting that I'm in, um, are they actually even oak trees, oak leaves? Yeah, forgetting that I'm in creator, breaking things, <clears throat> not even sure whether that's finished yet or not, anyway, so yeah, um, Again, I've been watching a lot of Whip recently and he does trees like this. So the path comes round here and then I've extended this house here and this is done on the diagonal. So I just brought this wall out, one, uh, sorry, pushed this wall back one and pushed that wall back one. I've actually done an interior fall over with amazement. <laughs> so I've got this little um, lounge area here and then teeny weeny little bedroom and look some shulker wardrobes fancy <laughs> um, yes yeah, so that is that building that I did do an interior on this I'm not quite sure whether I've shown you this interior so I'll have a quick quick sneaky look uh yeah oh they've got the same they they had the same uh, kitchen installed oh i think i did i think i did show you this it's got um, a mezzanine floor and a bedroom up there anyway so um <clears throat> the progress that i have made in the actual um city i showed you that building last time and i have finished this building here kind of looks a bit church like to me but it's not supposed to be a church um, but it has the prismarine accents on it made out of bone block and then on this side I did a couple of fancy sticky out windows i um, done a little bit of landscaping on the front there and some long windows at the back here and then on the tower a little observation deck so let's uh, quickly pop up there again nothing on the inside apart from some lights and some um, trapdoors just to, just to cover up the ends of the bone block um, so we have a winding staircase keep going keep going and then you have this lovely observation uh, floor I suppose um, where you can see I have wireframed out another building over there um, and then the other project uh, that I've been doing is down there. So I shall join you down there. Actually, you get a nice view of the uh, top of that pool from here, which is good. Um, but I will join you at... Um, whoa, oh, oh, when we were running up the stairs, we didn't see this lighting thing going all the way down. <laughs> and I can't just jump down. But um, I will ooh, meet you over at the other project. So I need to do a bit of terraforming around here because this was like actually kind of up there and I was gonna make this 
be inc uh, incorporating into the landscape but actually from the inside I preferred it all the same height um, so this I think actually this layer will need to come down um, so that you can see this bit but I do need to come through and sort out what I'm going to do with this bit and this bit round here probably put some trees or bushes or something or other um, but yeah so we've got some arches um, on this kind of balustrade bit um, I think I like the sandstone I'm not sure whether it needs to be changed for something that like um, stands out a bit more from the sandstone back there let me just try a couple of these pillars uh, in diorite and see what you think and what I think um, it'd be good if you could get quartz walls wouldn't it that would be quite fancy anyway we've just got all these new blocks and I'm wanting I'm wanting more <laughs> um, actually I think something like that might work better and I might actually change those as well uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Diorite or sandstone. And they actually um, are smoother. They kind of like, whereas these have got a, a line so you can tell where the blocks are, whereas that just looks like one piece of um, stone. So I thought that wall looked a little bit bare. So I've just done this little kind of ornament thing on it and then the flooring on here oh you can't see because of my tree <laughs> um i just did a pattern oh we've got a what's it glitch there um uh terracotta green terracotta lime terracotta and green concrete powder and yeah i just i just played around with it um so obviously this is gonna be a path that comes might bring a doorway come down there so then you've got the path that comes down here and obviously I need to do something with this put some flowers and stuff in but I'm gonna make um, another jacaranda tree here because obviously I've only got one in here I just want to double check what I used uh, so it was just purple concrete and stained glass um, yeah, and I kind of wanted this to hang over. Did I use fences? I think I did because I can see. Yeah, I did use some fences. Right. So yeah, this is another building that um, I've marked out with a path going past it there. And oh, the um, it'd be quite nice at night time that this the roof of the that dome um has got some sea lanterns in so that will be nicely lit up at night uh okay so i might just do a couple of little branches coming off here and because i don't think i uh built the other jacaranda tree on camera did i uh, these ones maybe just need those to come round. I want this to be fairly droopy. Okay, so I think with the other one, I just put a load of leaves on and then just put a few, um, like, I would, like I would normally do on a tree, and then I just put a few of the purple bits on the top. Let's hang this down. Um, I think I might want to see the bottom of that branch. So it's just covering that all in leaves. 
Um, so yeah, I uh, after the Prismarine Island series, uh, which was the MHC when we did um, raiding an ocean and monument in hardcore mode, I continued the world um, in hardcore. I did die a couple of times, and I like restart, like went back into survival. Um, because I, oh, is that a, oh, that's a fence in there. Because I quite liked the, the island, but um, I've since finished that little series. I, I was only doing it to uh, populate the island with um, kind of modern-ish small builds using the prismarine. So um, once I finished that, I had started because I couldn't wait to get started in uh, an, another world in the uh, in the snapshots, and I fancied doing another survival type one. Um, so yes, I ha you know what it's like when you start a new world. You just want to be in it the whole time. So it's a kind of survival -y cheat, a bit of a cheaty survival world. So it's not taking up as much time as it could do because I'm not doing completely all of the grindy bits. Uh, but it has taken a lot of my time, which is why I haven't been in this world for ages and I feel a little bit guilty because um, people uh, who are hopefully watching this um, were actually getting behind this and really enjoying it so I do apologize that this hasn't been around um, but I will do some update I mean I think it might be more for, for both of them it might be more update videos so not so much of this where I build on camera um, I do notice that quite a few small YouTubers do that. They don't actually do lots of building on camera. They just kind of do a little bit and then have a progress um, update and show you. Um, and I think that's, as long as I can see like how somebody has built something and get ideas from it. I'm not actually that bothered. I, I do like seeing the progress. Um, so that's probably the way I'm going to go. Um, so she rambling on and actually uh, building most <laughs> of this. Um, oh, there's some missing here oh the, that's what I was going to do that's why I was doing it in the dark because I will just pop a couple of end rods in here I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to delve in here and get rid of some of the leaves aren't I to uh, I think there will do um, whoop, whoop, come on oh no come on just to hide those leaves a tie, uh, sorry, the end rod a tiny little bit. Um, although I can put, um, I can put some of the purple stuff over as well. So, and I haven't put my timer on again. Um, so I have no idea how long <laughs> I've been rambling for. So I need to get in all of these. I don't mind leaving some of the wood, uh, like the, the trunks exposed because like the leaves of a tree don't go on completely all of them. Um, I'm just going to maybe stick a couple of branches down and make this a bit, little less flat here. Just so that when you are down here and kind of looking up, um, you can see like the canopy of the tree. There. I think that looks pretty good. Um, 
and let's pop some of the uh, jacaranda flowers on of course a proper jacaranda tree when it's in blossom um, wouldn't have any leaves on so we're just doing fantastical artistic license okay <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind about that um, and the I don't know whether to do a bit more let's do um, don't know if these are a bit too sparse uh, no I don't like that because that's too flat on there oh there I do feel like that needs one under there and yeah I don't know whether the first tree the um the purple is a little bit too sparse or whether it's fine um of course the purple concrete powder obviously can't be drooping off unless I put string on it um, but I think as long as there's a bit of a smattering oh that's a bit too don't want anything to look too regular but I do like the green of the leaves or the the colour of the leaves through the um, stained glass maybe side there and maybe we can get away with that as well yeah so something like that I'm thinking that that looks quite purpley fied and droopy and let's have a look from here not looking as purpley fied let's maybe do that or something like that there and then maybe oh, it's looking a bit whoops flat on this side although some trees I guess probably are a bit flat on one side <laughs> okay yes I think I like that yeah that looks good um, right I'm going to decide what to do with this bit and then I will get back to you so the lesson is put the shorter ones <laughs> shorter flowers in before the long ones because you can't actually see to get to the uh, blocks <laughs> oh dear right I think that ta -da, is how I would like it um, let's see what it looks like from walking down here I've never used the Lily of the Valley before and they're actually they do actually all face the same direction but um, yeah I think that's quite nice I think what I might do is change that one to put it there so you can see it when you come down so I put the uh, jungle leaves three high in first and then I put the peonies in um, and then the ferns and the grasses and then lastly the little um the little little lily of the valleys <laughs> um yes yeah, so that area looks really nice uh shame about the bit behind um i think oh the, yes that does that that does look really nice from over here um i think i will probably go with the diorite but if you let me know uh, whether you prefer the diorite, I think it it stands out a little bit more um, and gives the that whole shape a little bit more definition. Uh, might even play around with the diorite being on these bits as well. But 
I don't know. So let me know what you think and uh, hopefully you like this little um, update episode of building this. I think I'm going to do more areas like this in the city because I think this looks really pretty and kind of magical. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video please hit the like button and please uh, comment as I do love reading your comments. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.